The holiday season is here. You're a guitar geek, and that means for the next month, you have the green light to check out and acquire new gear. Now, this could be gear for your friends, your relatives, or even you yourself. Let's be honest, definitely you. In today's show, I'll be sharing with you a unique Guitar Geek gift guide to help you through this holiday season. Hey TAC family, welcome to episode 215 of the Acoustic Tuesday Show. This show's all about bringing fun, focus, and progress to your guitar journey through my weekly Guitar Geek list, plus success stories from your fellow TAC family members. Are you a new guitar player? Do you feel like maybe you've fallen behind? Do you feel like things don't fall under your fingers as easily as you think they should? Well, in today's show, you're gonna learn one of the most valuable lessons you've ever learned on your guitar journey from TAC family members Gabriel and David. They had an exchange during our last live 90-day progress party that is truly inspirational and will illuminate your guitar journey from this day forward, regardless of your experience level. Plus, you're going to get a look at what challenge the TAC family is working on this week. It's a blues chord progression entitled Triple Threat. It's really cool, and I can't wait for you to see it. You're also going to get your weekly dose of acoustic news you can use, which includes some exciting developments from Molly Tuttle, one of my favorite artists ever, a fantastic resource for you modern fingerstyle guitar fans, and so much more. But first, let's go ahead and get you some help with your Guitar Geek holiday shopping endeavors. I've got a list of 10 Guitar Geek gifts that I want to share with you. And whenever I have a list on the Acoustic Tuesday show, I end up doing some sort of countdown. And today is no exception. So let's go ahead and dig right in. Guitar Geek gift number 10 is a Native Sons guitar strap. I think Native Sons guitar straps are the best guitar straps in the business. I've tried a bunch of different ones, and to me, Native Sons are the best. And I like them for three distinct reasons. Number one, they're beautiful. This is one of their two inch wide nylon backed straps. And you can see the pattern is absolutely gorgeous. The ends are in English bridal leather. You can pick the color. This is a cognac color. And on this particular strap is installed one of their universal strap pads. You can actually get for any two inch strap, whether it's a native sun strap or not. It adds that much more comfort and it's made incredibly well. Which brings me to the second reason I like native sun straps. They're made incredibly well. They're very rugged. The first native sun strap that I got is about four or five years old and I've used it a ton and it's still kicking. It shows no signs of wear. In fact, it's gotten better. The ends are nice and buttery now and they slip right on my guitar. The final reason I dig native sun straps is that, well, they come ready for gift giving. When I ordered this strap, it came in a padded envelope with a beautiful native sun's logo on it. And then within that envelope, the strap was wrapped, ready to give as a gift. It came in this wrapper with a gift tag already on it. So yeah, it's pretty much fit for giving. Or if, of course, if you wanna get one for yourself, it's like opening up a present to yourself. Now for you Acoustic Tuesday viewers, I do have a discount code for Native Sun Straps. If you go to their website, please enter the code ACOUSTIC15 to get 15% off your entire order. Yes, indeed, ACOUSTIC15 to get 15% off at nativesunsgoods.com. Guitar Geek gift number nine, Santa Cruz Parabolic Tension Strings. I've tried a bunch of different strings in the past. I continue to try a bunch of different new strings and I found nothing that sounds better than the Santa Cruz Parabolic Tension Strings. They have a low and a mid tension set. And for me, I use the low tension on my smaller body guitars and my vintage guitars. And for my dreadnoughts, I use the mid tension. Now they just started making baritone guitar strings as well, which is pretty darn cool. Now for you loyal Acoustic Tuesday viewers, they're running a special. Buy two, get one free. You can buy two sets of strings and get one free with the very special coupon code Tony Rules. T O N Y R U L E S. This special is only going through December 3rd. That's the end of the week. So if you want to take advantage of this, make sure to act now. Again, the coupon code is Tony Rules to get two sets of strings plus a bonus set. Guitar Geek gift number eight, a Calton case. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Tone, I love my Guitar Geek friends, but. I don't love them that much. That's a really expensive gift. Let's be honest first. You're likely shopping for yourself this holiday season as well. What an awesome gift for yourself, a Calton case worth every single penny. To know that your instrument's protected regardless of what you're doing, pretty awesome. I know for me, my Calton cases have saved my butt on numerous occasions. Okay, so that's the case. Now you might be thinking, that, that's still pretty expensive tone. I don't, I don't know. Check this out. 
they just started making accessory cases. They make a laptop case and they make a general kind of guitar music accessory case for a much lower price point. So yes, you can still gift a Calton case to yourself or your friends and not have to go whole hog on an instrument case. Think of it as dipping your toe into the world of Calton cases. Also check this out. They're doing a giveaway for those accessory cases. All you have to do is sign up for their newsletter. Again, all the details are on their website. Guitar Geek gift number seven, guitar picks. Whether a guitarist has 100 guitar picks or they have zero guitar picks, they still need guitar picks. And I've got three of them that are on my hot list for you to check out right now. Number one, the Daddario Kaysen guitar pick. I just had a chance to try this out and it's simply amazing. The tone is awesome, the feel is great. It's about 25 bucks. Next up, Red Bear guitar picks. I've loved these for a long, long time. They're beautiful, they sound awesome, and they feel incredible. I think those are around 35 bucks. And last, but certainly not least, my actual favorite blue chip guitar picks. They come in a variety of shapes and sizes. They're a little bit uh, more expensive than the other two I mentioned, but in my opinion, they're worth every penny. Guitar Geek gift number six, a capo. Whether your Guitar Geek friend has a capo or doesn't have a capo, they still need a capo. Think of a capo like a pair of sunglasses. You're either gonna lose it or you need a couple of different sets to pick from depending on your style. Speaking of, I've got three that I wanna recommend to you. Number one, the Shub Deluxe. This is a great roadworthy utility capo, one of my faves. Number two, the G7 Heritage Capo. This is a beautifully crafted capo that works on a variety of instruments. It is exceptional. And number three, the Creme de la Creme of capos. What is Creme de la Creme? The cream of the cream? I don't know, it's the best capo I've ever used and the best capo that I continue to use, an Elliott capo. Made in the US, crafted for your instrument. It's like jewelry for your guitar and they work incredibly well, flawless. If you ever thought a capo could or couldn't impact tone, check out an Elliott capo and it'll actually answer that question for you. Guitar Geek gift number five, nostalgia. Now, what I'm about to share with you is probably the coolest thing I've ever found. It's, it's likely been out for a while and I just stumbled upon it and I thought to myself, this is the ultimate Guitar Geek stocking stuffer. Martin catalog reprints from the golden age. Think 1935, think 1940, think 1930. Yes, they're actually reprinting the catalogs that Martin handed out to their dealers for five bucks. Yeah, five bucks gets you a reprint of these amazing catalogs. What a cool Guitar Geeky stocking stuffer. Guitar Geek gift number four, Legos. Who doesn't love Legos? Specifically, the Lego Ideas set that is a Fender Stratocaster. Yes, for about a hundred bucks, you can get yourself a Fender Stratocaster built out of Legos. To me, this is the cross section of Guitar Geeky and Regular Geeky. What an awesome gift for your fellow Guitar Geek. Guitar Geek gift number three, an album. Get your Guitar Geek friend an album. All too often I hear, I don't know, I, I'm scared to gift someone else an album because I don't know if they'll like it. That's what makes this gift idea so much fun. Give someone else an album that you like. Give someone else an album that you think they may like. Give someone else an album from an artist that maybe is from your town that they've never seen before. In fact, if you're looking for some ideas, I've created a quick list for you. Some albums that have been gifted to me that have been absolute knockouts. Number one, the Lead Belly box set from Smithsonian Folkways. Wow, this is the full package. Talk about an incredible gift. This was gifted to me by my friend Charlie and holy smokes, it has occupied a ton of my time. Top of the list, an incredible gift. Next up, Sierra Farrell's Long Time Coming, incredible album. After that, Charlie Parr's Last of the Better Days Ahead. After that, Riddy Armin's self-titled album. Uh, Ryan Aker's Heavy Horns album. Those are both Montana artists, both Ryan and Riddy. Uh, Jeffrey Foucault's Deadstock or Blood Brothers, both incredible albums that would be a great gift for somebody that is an acoustic guitar fan. And then uh, we've got Brennan Lay, Prairie Love Letter. And last but, not, last but certainly not least, Eli West's Tapered Point of Stone. Ultimately, gift someone an album that you think they'll dig or that will expose them to some new acoustic music. Guitar Geek gift number two, a guitar. Yes, I know it seems simple, I know it seems obvious, but what a great addition to your holiday shopping list. Whether you're shopping for yourself, that'd be a pretty awesome gift. Whether you're shopping for a Guitar Geek friend, that'd be a pretty awesome gift for them. Or 
you're shopping for a future guitar geek. Somebody that maybe has always talked about playing the guitar and never really has taken the plunge. Get them a guitar. How cool is that? And to make your guitar buying just a little bit more easy, Brendan from Heartbreaker Guitars has done something incredibly generous. Something I've never done on the Acoustic Tuesday show before. Brendan has extended a 10% off discount on all FERC guitars and all Larivee guitars to Acoustic Tuesday viewers. All you have to do is use the coupon code TONY10, T-O-N-Y-10, at Heartbreaker Guitars, and you can get 10% off a Larivee or a FERC. And I gotta tell you, they have a ton of guitars in stock that are absolutely gorgeous. I need to identify two that I really dig. There's a Larivee parlor guitar there that I wanna say had a moon spruce top. It may, it may be gone already incredible instrument. And there there was also kind of a traditional FERC. It was a 12 fret guitar with a slotted headstock, exceptional guitar. So a uh, huge thank you to Brendan for making this possible. Again, you can get 10% off any Larivee or FERC guitar now through the end of the year using the coupon code TONY10. Only one coupon per customer, you know, all those usual stipulations apply. Guitar Geek gift number one, art. And I've got two artists to get you started in the right direction. And each of these artists make very guitar geeky art. Be it a poster or an original painting, you have to know about these two folks. Number one, Gary Houston out in Portland, Oregon. You can check out his work at voodoocatbox.com. He makes all sorts of different concert posters and he does a lot of printing and it's exceptionally cool. I found out about Gary through Charlie Parr and once I started looking at Gary's work, I was like, Whoa, this would make an incredible gift. Uh, the second artist you should be aware of is Grego Anderson. He does uh, hand painted, uh, call it folk art of all of the blues, the Delta blues players. And I've actually got two of his pieces at my home. Uh, one of Mississippi John Hurt, one of Robert Johnson. They are so cool. The Robert Johnson one that I have is painted on a cabinet door. The Mississippi John Hurt one that I have is painted on a cutting board and his work is so awesome. So if you have a, a blues guitar lover on your shopping list, uh, that would be uh, certainly right up their alley. Uh, you can find Grego's work at mojohand.com. And I can't think of a cooler thing to gift a guitar geek buddy than a piece of original art from one of these two uh, amazing, amazing artists. Before we move on, I also wanted to mention a bonus gift idea, just in case the previous 10 didn't really resonate with you. And that is gifting an experience to your Guitar Geek buddy or Guitar Geek family member. Think of uh, a concert that maybe you can go to together. That would be a really fun guitar-infused experience that would be quite delightful if you ask me. Maybe set up a trip to your favorite guitar store or a destination guitar store. That would be an awesome gift for a Guitar Geek that, well, you could both share together and have that wonderful experience. Sometimes it's, it's not about the thing and it's more about the sentiment and the experience that surrounds the gift. So again, I just wanted to mention that because it may spark some creativity in your gift giving world. With all that being said, uh, now it's your turn. In the comments below, let me know what's on your Guitar Geek shopping list this holiday season, or let me know what you happen to want from your Guitar Geek friends, again, down in the comments below. Now it's your chance to see what the TAC family is working on this week. It's time for the Tuesday Tack Guitar Lick Challenge. Within Tony's Acoustic Challenge, every single day we dedicate to one of the five essential categories of guitar improvement. On Mondays, we do a technique challenge. Tuesdays is a guitar lick challenge. Wednesdays, an improvisation challenge. Thursdays, a rhythm guitar challenge. And Fridays, a chord transition challenge. That's during a normal week. This week we're doing things a little differently because there's a five day blues challenge going on. So today you're gonna get a little sneak peek into that. So without further ado, here's Triple Threat, a brand new 12 bar blues progression for you to check out. Your challenge for today is entitled Triple Threat and it gets its name from the three different fretting positions that your fretting hand will assume. Let me go ahead and play it for you so you know what it sounds like. You'll notice this isn't a guitar lick. 
it's more of a 12 bar blues progression. So you might be thinking, Tone, have you lost your mind? It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday Tack Guitar Lick Challenge Day. What is the deal with this blues progression? Well, within TAC this week, it's a five-day blues challenge, meaning every single day, every daily challenge is a different variation on the 12-bar blues. This just so happens to be the one for Tuesday, Triple Threat Tuesday. Kind of cool. I dig that. Anyways, TAC fam, if you want to learn this note for note, go ahead and log in. Click Start Challenge from your homepage. Boom, you'll go right to the teaching video. Once you get comfortable with it, you can move along to the Play Along video where you can adjust the speed to what's ever comfortable for you. And then you can pull up the tab in a separate window by clicking that tab icon in the lower right hand corner. Okay, so very cool. This is a chord progression. How are we going to do this today? Because as you can see, the 12 bar blues progression fits just fine. We can hear the musical context, but we're gonna do a little bit of, rev of a reversal today, of a reversal today, that's a mouthful. What we're gonna do is take one chunk of this 12 bar blues progression and turn it into a lick. Yes, we're gonna turn it into a lick. So I'm gonna show you this, and it's an interesting way to start thinking about things. If you play something that's repeated, like this 12 bar blues progression, you can take a small piece of that and stand it on its head a little bit and maybe create a lick out of it. Here's an example. I think it's so cool that you can take a repeated rhythmic phrase, like the one we used in this 12 bar blues progression, and create something entirely new. In this case, a guitar lick. And that's exactly what I want you to take from this little mini lesson. I want you to start looking at the things you already play through different lenses, from different perspectives, because chances are you can create something entirely new from something you already know. Now, I wanna talk about something real quick before we get back to the show, and that is distraction. It's our number one enemy as guitar players. It's our number one enemy when it comes to learning something new. So I want you to fight distraction at every turn. And I bring this up because this happens to me all the time when I'm learning the blues or something related to the blues because I kind of have my go-tos. I have my, my blues ruts, if you will. So when things start becoming difficult, what ends up happening is I, I can feel my brain reverting to the rut. It's like, go play something you know, go play something you're confident in, go play something that makes you sound good. But that's not gonna get me any better. That's not gonna get you any better. So as you're learning new things, your brain's gonna start talking to you saying, gosh, this is really hard. You don't know how to do this and it's sounding really crummy. Why don't you go play that thing you already like the sound of? Why don't you go play that thing that you know you can already play? That sounds amazing. I want you to fight that urge. That's why the 10 minute rule is so important. I want you to focus for 10 minutes on something new, something that pushes you outside your comfort zone because that's exactly what's gonna make you better. Fight that distraction for at least 10 minutes and you'll be amazed at the impact it has on your guitar playing. An unbelievable amount of questions and doubt can swirl around a guitar player's brain, especially a new guitar player. Things like, am I good enough? Am I doing this correctly? Do I have what it takes? The list goes on and on. TAC family member Gabriel is no exception. While he's super excited about learning the guitar for the first time, he's also really unsure if he's approaching things correctly. Here's a little insight into Gabriel's excitement and struggles with the guitar. Well, you know, I'm, I'm very excited to be here. This is brand new to me, and I'm a brand new guitar player. Um, just started, um, so I mean, I haven't even been playing 60 days. Um, I found the course online. I started doing it. I've learned a few chords. I'm terrible. Um, I, um, but I'm. I think I've played every day for the last month or so. Um, and before that, uh, when I first started, I think I missed one day in like two weeks. Um, so I'm really excited about learning. Um, I got short stubby fingers. Um, getting around this enormous guitar that I have is really difficult. Uh, so I've got a new smaller bodied guitar with a slightly smaller uh, scale coming. Um, hopefully that helps me play a little, um, but you know, I'm faced with obstacles everywhere <laughs> being a, a new guitar player. Um, 
but my biggest challenge is uh, getting a little lost about what to learn, even within uh, TAC, um, because I'm not able to keep up with the daily challenges, uh, just trying to fret some chords cleanly and to change quickly. I just can't do. So I feel like I'm always falling behind. So I don't really even know what I'm going to be doing. So, you know, I'm trying not to get down on myself and keep on doing it. And I'm enjoying it while I'm, you know, while I'm trying. Whether you've just started playing the guitar or you've been playing for a long time, you might be sitting there thinking, holy smokes, I feel the exact same way that Gabriel does. Now, Gabriel had a chance to share that with us during the last Tony's Acoustic Challenge Live 90 Day Progress Party. And something very cool happened during that exchange. A fellow TAC family member said, hey, I've actually got something that may help you. Here's what TAC family member David had to say in response to Gabriel. Actually, I just had a quick comment for Gabriel. Yeah. Um, so I ran into the same thing. I'm three months into this. And I tried to keep up with all the speeds on the daily challenges or do that. And I reset my expectations <laughs> to pick a speed that worked for me and only try to hit that. So I just try to hit one X. When I hit it, I'm done. I move on to the next day. A year from now, maybe I'll do the faster ones. That's fine. And if I miss a day here or there, I'll just throw it on the weekend and try it there. But don't give up. You don't need to do it exactly like Tony does. From a speed perspective, if it's 0.5, if it's 0.75, just make that your goal and work on that and pat yourself on the back when you hit it and move on to the next day. The exchange between Gabriel and David brought up two very important things, two very important lessons that if you apply them to your guitar journey right now, will make an enormous difference, regardless of how experienced you are and regardless of where you're at on your journey. Lesson number one, expectations are where fun goes to die. You just heard it right there. Gabriel said, you know what? The daily challenge, I'm not really jiving with it. I'm having a really hard time getting it. To which David responded, hey, I was too, but I let my expectations go. I picked a speed that was comfortable for me. And once I got it, I called it a day. See, expectations can get us into a lot of trouble. It makes us feel like we should be further along than we are. It makes us feel like it should be easier than it is. Try your best to let go of those expectations and simply just show up and play for at least 10 minutes. By just showing up and playing, you will achieve far more progress and have far less agony than if you expect to be at a certain place at a certain time. Lesson number two, and I wrote this down because I think it's so important. Lesson number two is you can never fall behind, ever. In your guitar journey, you can never fall behind. And I want you to ask yourself this following question. Again, I wrote this down because I thought it was so important. And I wanted to articulate it in a fashion that resonated with you. Ask yourself, how am I falling behind when my goal is consistency and showing up to play for 10 minutes? See, falling behind is something we manufacture in our own brains. When you think of guitar playing as a journey, and I know it's cliche that it's all about the journey, but it really is. How can you fall behind on your own journey when you just simply are showing up consistently and playing and achieving that incremental progress every single time you sit down and play? You simply cannot fall behind. So when you find yourself saying, oh, I think, I think I'm behind where everybody else is, don't worry about everybody else. Just worry about you and your journey and know that you can't ever be behind. There is no behind, there is no ahead. Everybody else is on a separate journey and everybody else's journey is unique, just like yours is. So again, uh, huge thanks to both Gabriel and David for having that exchange and bringing to light two very important things that again, if you apply them to your guitar journey today, will make an enormous difference. Now again, that happened during the last live Tony's Acoustic Challenge 90 Day Progress Party. And for you TAC members, I want you to be at the next one because magical things like that happen every single time. The next live 90 day progress party is January 5th, 2022 at 11 a.m. Mountain Time. If you can make it, I would love to see you there.
Let's get geeky, shall we? We're gonna check out some guitar arsenals. Now I want you to pack your bags. We're going on a coast to coast tour. We're gonna start in Buffalo, New York, check out a new guitar arsenal, and then we're gonna head to Fortuna, California, and do a little bit of a follow up on a past guitar arsenal. And it has a bit of a twist that's very cool, and I can't wait for you to check it out. But let's start out on the East Coast. We're gonna go to Buffalo, New York, and visit Tony Magrino. Now you'll notice that he is a goalie. Yes, a hockey goalie. That makes him a guitar geek goalie. Very cool. And I only know of two other folks that are guitar geek goalies. Myself and Cross north of the border in Canada. So Tony, welcome to the ranks of guitar geek goalies. Here's what's in Tony's guitar arsenal. He's got a Martin Triple O 17 SM, which is a 12 fret guitar with a spruce top, mahogany back and sides. And then he's got a Bourgeois DB Signature Deluxe Age Tone Bear Claw Sitka Spruce Top with Madagascar Rosewood back and sides. Tony, thanks so much for including your goalie helmet. That's just way cool. And again, thank you so much for sharing your guitar arsenal. Okay, all aboard the plane again. We're going to go to Fortuna, California, and we're going to revisit Steve Payetta. Now, if you remember Steve's first picture, he was not in it. And in the show, I said, Steve, I trust that you have a guitar arsenal shirt. Well, Steve, being the good guitar geek that he is, went ahead and followed up with this picture and message. Check this out. Steve says, Tony, Thanks for featuring me on your guitar arsenal segment. Too cool. Yes, I do have a guitar arsenal shirt. See below. I've also included a picture of a Muddy Waters business card. I'm, like you, from Chicago, LaGrange Park specifically, and played blues back in the 1970s. Muddy Waters was a friend of mine, and precious times with Muddy are close to my heart. Love all your shows and coverage of artists, their music and gear. Once again, thank you, and keep up the good work, Steve. Wow, just wow, just wow, just wow. First of all, the fact that you followed up, Steve, incredible. Secondly, the fact that Muddy Waters was a friend of yours is amazing. A uh, huge shout out to my Uncle Paul. My Uncle Paul actually introduced me to Muddy Waters. Not personally, but introduced me to Muddy Waters music. And I've listened to Muddy Waters ever since I was, I want to say probably... 14, 15 years old. Uh, so to see this and to see that business card, to know that you're friends with them, just so cool. I want to thank you for sharing that with all of us guitar geeks. And if you're sitting at home thinking, well, I'm a guitar geek goalie. I have a guitar arsenal I want to share. Heck, I'm just a guitar geek and there's a guitar arsenal I want to share of mine. Well, I want you to do that. And if you're wondering how you do that and get featured in the Acoustic Tuesday show, well, <laughs> I got to bring on my lovely assistant to tell you how. I want to propose to you a win-win-win scenario. I want to feature you on the Acoustic Tuesday show. Yes, I want to feature you and your guitar arsenal, or you and your Acoustic Tuesday merchandise. Step number one, go to TonyPolacastro.com forward slash shop. Once you're there, pick out your favorite guitar arsenal shirt, your favorite Acoustic Tuesday merchandise, get it shipped directly to your door. Step number two, once your merchandise arrives, go ahead and put it on and take a picture of yourself, either just wearing Acoustic Tuesday merchandise, or if you have a guitar arsenal shirt, take a picture in front of all of your guitars. And then once you're done with that, step number three is to upload your picture at TonyPolacastro.com forward slash shop. There's a link right on that page. Click it, you can upload your photo, and boom, you'll be featured in the Acoustic Tuesday show. Win number one, you get featured in the Acoustic Tuesday show. Win number two, you get some cool snazzy Guitar Geek merchandise. Win number three, the biggest win of them all, all proceeds from the TonyPolacastro.com forward slash shop are being donated to Guitars for Vets. You get featured in the show, you get cool new shirts, cool new merchandise, and you help out Guitars for Vets. Win, win, win. Okay, back to the show. Now I hope you're sitting down because I've got some acoustic news you can indeed and most definitely will use. First up, some exciting developments from Molly Tuttle. Correction. Some exciting developments from Molly Tuttle and Golden Highway. That's the name of her new band and they will be releasing an album in early 2022. But you don't have to wait that long because they just released a single entitled She'll Change. Now I want to play this for you but Quick caveat here, I'm not sure it will clear copyright, so if you don't hear this song during the Acoustic Tuesday show in like five seconds, then please find it on your own and check it out. It is simply amazing. It's Molly getting in touch with her bluegrass roots. It sounds incredible. It's got drive, it's got tone, it's got amazing guitar. Let's go ahead and check it out. She can paint the sun at midnight, roll out the moon at the break of day, one wonders, one road, many ways. Just when you think you know 
know her, she'll change. Okay, next up on my news list is that Khaki King has released US tour dates for 2022. This is super exciting. Make sure to check out her website to see if she's coming to a town near you. Continuing on the modern fingerstyle guitar train, there's a website you must know about, michaelhedges.com. Yes, his family got together and created a website resource for all of us Michael Hedges fans, for all of us modern fingerstyle guitar fans. There's an amazing amount of resources on this website and you absolutely need to check it out. I simply don't actually have time to go through everything here. There are resource books, videos, stage setups, you name it, it's on there. But the one thing I wanna highlight is that there is a forthcoming documentary in 2023, or at least that's when it's scheduled. And I believe his family is involved in this documentary as well. You can actually back the documentary from that website, be it financially or just spreading the word. It's something that when I discovered it, I was like, holy smokes, this is amazing. I know for a fact the folks that watch Acoustic Tuesday will dig this as well. So it made the newsworthy list. I've got one more story for you. And this is, this is something that I wanna ask of you. Um, Martin, the Martin Repair Shop, just refinished a 1947 0017 that was in a house fire. They did an incredible job. You're gonna be seeing pictures right now. You'll see the before and after. I mean, this, this guitar was trash. The finish was clearly charred. The guitar itself may have been charred. And it, at the end, it looks like a brand new guitar, but it's a 1947 0017. And I, I looked at these pictures and I thought to myself, Man, I wish they would have retained some of the burned parts, if that's even possible. I wish they would have retained maybe even a part of the finish that was burned or maybe the headstock that was burned or something that uh, was a nod to what the guitar has been through. Because now, to me, it just looks too much like a new guitar with no mojo. But, but it's not about me. The reason I brought this up during the news segment is I kind of want to know what you think. Do you think, holy smokes, amazing transformation, this, Martin did a great job, or do you think, gosh, I wish they would have kept some of the, the char, some of the, some of the character, if you will. I'm not discounting what Martin did as amazing. I'm just kind of curious what you, Acoustic Tuesday viewers, think. So in the comments below, please let me know. Okay, on that note, I think it's a great time to wrap up the Acoustic Tuesday show for today. But let's go ahead and uh, look in the crystal ball. We'll take a sneak peek into next week. And next week, we're gonna go down the YouTube rabbit hole. Specifically, I'll be sharing with you my 10 favorite guitar store YouTube channels. Some of them you may already be able to guess, but some of them will be a surprise to you, I promise. That's all happening next week on the Acoustic Tuesday show. Remember, you can catch Acoustic Tuesday every single Tuesday at 10 a.m. Mountain Time. I want to thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. And before you go, I do want to remind you of one thing. Your guitar success, however you define it, or you, is directly related to your guitar routine. So please invest the time in developing your guitar routine and make sure to have fun every single day that you play. Again, thanks for joining me today. Thank you for sharing your time with me. Thank you for being a guitar geek, and I'll see you next Tuesday on the Acoustic Tuesday Show. Cheers to you, and Guitar Geeks Unite.